Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look, which is a great look for fall and winter, and it is my go-to look right now. And what it is basically is big, big curls with, um, basically your regular, like, winged eye, dark lip combo, but the catch is, I don't know if you can tell, there's glitter liner lining the top of the eyes, which looks beautiful. So I will be showing you how to do this look right here, and it's overall just a great, great look. So here it goes. Alrighty guys, so while I wait for my hair to dry, I'm going to be doing the makeup. So I'm just going to be starting with my normal foundation routine, so I'm taking my beauty blender, favorite thing. And since I'm almost out of my Tarte Amazonian clay, I'm going to be using NARS Sheer Glow in the color Medium Barcelona. So I'm just putting it on four points, like always. Then blend. Alright, so now we're done with the foundation basically. We're going to go in with concealer. And um, my last concealer part got cut out of my last video, so you guys still haven't seen it. So I like to go in with my Makeup Forever Full Coverage um, Camouflage Cream Concealer, which really is full coverage. So I just take it, put stuff on my finger, put a bit on my finger, and rub it between them. I'm going to just put it there in, in a triangle shape and it doesn't matter if you're a little messy here because I like to go over with a little more foundation afterwards and I do get it on the eyelid too so that's one eye okay and I kind of let that set for a little bit so I give it a few seconds and then I come back in with my beauty blender and I just take this end now and blend that in. Okay, and now to cover up my blemishes, I like to go in with, um, what brand is this? I think, oh god. Maybelline. It's the Maybelline. I don't know what it is, but because everything's rubbed off, as you can see, it's been worn out. <laughs> but um, everyone knows what these are. I like to go in and cover in any blemishes I may have. And this is a concealer that is my skin tone, or the color of the foundation at least. So it does a good job of covering up the pimples, marks. And then I just go back in with this end of the beauty blender again and blend those out. Okay, and since the um, under eye concealer was kind of like light for me, I like it lighter, I like to make sure that area is really blended, so I go back in with a li just a tiny bit of foundation, like you can even just use the end of the sponge again, and just blend that area out. And so we kind of got like that flawless face, you know, flawless transition. So yeah, that is basically the foundation and the concealer. Now I'm going to go in with my powders and I'm setting my under eye area with a way lighter powder and it's basically messed up. I don't know what brand this is, I just have it. So I just like to take this brush right here, I don't really know what it is, but I dab it in here and I set that under eye area. And I don't brush it, I press because I don't want to get rid of any of what I just applied. I just go in with my regular Tarte Amazonian clay powder all over my face. Okay. Now that my face is set, we can move on to eyes, which is basically the main attraction of this look. So, um, what it is, is I found it on Pinterest, and ever since I saw it, I've been doing it for my winter fall look. And what I like to do is I take my regular black eyeliner and do a big, big, like, extreme cat eye. And then, you guys have probably seen this, and then I take this nice gold, NYX gold liner, and it's the NYX Studio Liner in Extreme Gold. And it's a very beautiful color, and I just line the top part of the black eyeliner, so it's like this double wing, and it looks beautiful. So I'll be showing you how I do that. So, first off. I told you guys I like to use this 
eyeliner here, but I'm going to be using both of these. This for shape and this to fill in because this has the control and this has the pigment. It's a little weird, right? But I'm going to go in with this and just draw my wing, the shape of it. Alright, so here's the finished black eyeliner look on one eye. So however you like to do your eyeliner is perfectly fine. If you like it shorter, I'm sure much of you will. If you like it thinner, thicker, however you want. This is just a guideline for the look and you can just pair it with anything. So now that we're done with black eyeliner on one eye, we're going to be going in with our NYX Gold Eyeliner and just lining the top of that. And I'll try and show you, which will be a little difficult, but ugh, if you can see, like... See, we're just going over the top a little bit. It's hard for me to do it and show you guys, so. Yeah, you just do that all along the top of it, if you can see well, I'm not sure. Um, here. I'm going to do it and then come back in with you guys and check in with you later. Alright, so here it is, like, the first round through, and it all really is just a matter of, like, patience and playing with it. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I got a little bit of the gold in my black eyeliner, and it's a little too thick for my liking. So, what I'm just going to do is go back in with my black eyeliner, kind of reapply, fix it up, and if it goes a little too high for your liking, just take, like, a Q-tip, wet the tip, and go over and just take it off. So, I'm going to be doing that, and try and perfect it, because I am a perfectionist when it comes to eyeliner. So, here it goes. Alright guys, so here is the finished eyeliner look. I really don't know if you can like see what it looks like properly. I hope you can because it is beautiful and I love doing it. So, yeah. You can see that gold just gives it an extra pop. I don't know. Let me just apply one more layer actually. There. Okay. So the gold just gives it a little pop and it's a beautiful look for the fall and winter time. So now I'm just going to do the other eye and I'll come back in with you guys later. Alright, and we are back with both eyes done. So here is the look. I'm not sure if you can see, but I'll include a picture at the end. So you see that gold lined it and it's an extreme cat eye. So if you do want to tone it down, you totally can. You just, to get this look, you want that gold eyeliner lining the top. So now that we're done with the eyes, I have totally forgot to do eyebrows and I always do mascara last. So let's go to the eyebrows. So I just recently bought the Anastasia Brow Gel and also this Eco Tools double sided brush. It has a nice little eyeshadow brush here and then a nice eyebrow brush, which I'm pretty sure this is for eyeliner, but works great for eyebrows. So I got my Anastasia Brow Gel in the color, um, it's the Dip Brow Pomade actually, in dark brown because I have very dark brown hair and eyebrows as you can see. So firstly what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil, it's just sad because it doesn't get used anymore, but I do use a spoolie to brush out my eyebrows to the shape I want them to be. Okay, that's like the desired shape I want. So, oh god I just lost my brush. Oh, no. Just gonna take a little bit, very, very tiny amount, not a lot at all. And then just do my brows. And I already have very thick brows, so I just kind of just enhance the shape, you know? And I like this gel so much more than the pencil, but the pencil's great too, so like it just shows how great this gel is. Okay, and there are both brows done. So, now that we're done with that, we're going to be moving on to blush, bronzer, or more of a contour, by the way, anyways. So, let's go in with my Hula bronzer and this big fluffy brush. We're just going to take a little bit and really contour those cheeks.
that's it for contour. Now going in for the blush. I'm going to be taking my blush brush and then taking a very, very beautiful fall color. And this is all crumbled because all my makeup is ruined. But I don't know if you can really tell the color. It's this really, really pretty like rose color and it's actually called Tender Rose. And this is L'Oreal True Match Blush. blush. So I'm going to be taking a little hint of that. Smiling. I'm just applying that to the very top of my cheeks. And also taking that into the forehead, like around here, so I have a little color everywhere. And this is a very, like, slight color. Like, it's not very prominent. So I do like to do, dabble a few layers onto my skin. I don't know if you can tell with this lighting, but... dab on my nose because it is winter and that is it for blush mm, very very light so now we're gonna go in with a highlight and I'm taking my Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in bronze very beautiful love it just taking a little swipe of that and rubbing it everywhere basically Now my flip camera is almost running out, so I'm going to finish this soon. Now we're going in with the best, best part, my favorite part of this whole look that kind of just brings it all together, and it is this beautiful, beautiful dark plum color by Maybelline, and I believe it is called, oh, okay, Caviar Couture, so yeah, it's a beautiful color, and I'm just going to be taking that all over my lips, and it just brings the whole look together, really. I need to clean that up. I look like a clown right now. So this is basically the finished look besides the mascara. So we're going to just be doing that really quick. And I'm going to be taking my very favorite mascara. And I'll be back with you guys because I need to wipe off my lashes with a makeup remover because this eyeliner gets on it and clumps them together and we don't want clump lashes. So one second. Alrighty guys, on to hair. So all I'm doing for hair is taking a one inch curler by Hot Tools and curling just random pieces that need a little extra, you know, oomph. So I'm just not taking those um, naturally really, really curly pieces because I'm trying to keep this really wild, really messy, you know, like more of a natural thing because we don't want it to look all dolled up. So I'm just going to do that.